we adopt an appropriate strategy right here in the Caribbean. This approach, it is called IPM. We use a net to resolve all the best problems. If the UN fund this project, you see, facilitate. Good morning and welcome back to Gaia, the channel, and Cockadoodle Do. We're switching gears from our budget response, our budget panel now, into the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival, which starts on the 16th of September. That's next week, Wednesday. I'm joined this morning by Emily Upzak and Melanie Archer. Emily is the creative director of the film festival, and Melanie is a writer, and she also had to sit and view all, all the films that were submitted to the festival that, that starts next week. Emily, just to start with you, your role as creative director, you, you're in control to some degree of what we see being put out there in the advertising, the look, the brand of the, of the festival. Tell sure. us about that. Do I need to use the microphone? Yes, you, yes, you go okay. ahead with that microphone. Um, yes, I oversee the visual identity of the festival, so working directly with our graphic designer above group, Gareth Jenkins and Alex Smales, um, really to create the look and feel of the festival. We rebranded this year, so we have a whole sort of um, new approach to how we're representing ourselves. So you can see in our logo, I don't know if you can see the logo. Trinidad Film Festival. Film Festival, yeah. this is our new um, shape and uh, font, color, yeah. And we have seen uh, something, the Kobo came to mind uh, as soon as we started talking about look and feel, and the Kobo is, is a representation, a symbol, and I thought it was very clever. How did that come about? Because it's not usually a, a word we think of you know, uh, representing anything yeah. positive. How does it, the Kobo come about? <laughs> tell, tell us about that melody. Well, um, last year we started with artist Peter Doig, who was, he became sort of the official festival artist and gave us an image to work with as part of our visual identity for the festival. So then this year we decided we wanted to repeat that exercise and we will repeat it in subsequent years. So we approached Eddie Bowen and gave him free reign, said, you know, just go for it, do whatever you want create an image, and he came up with the Kobo. And, you know, we said, huh, Kobo, yes, interesting. And, you know, according to him, he, he his justification behind it is that this is a bird that's really unique to Trinidad, and it's sort of, it's, it's Trinidad from the inside. You know, it's not Trinidad, it's not the pretty beaches, it's not all of that stuff, it's just Trinidad, you know, as we know it, and yeah. the Kobo's which, kind of like... Which that really worked for us in terms of the representation of the film festival. Um, our tagline is, you're in focus. So the whole idea is that um, the stories that are being told are made by people from the Caribbean or from the diaspora, and the people who are watching it are regional audiences, Trinidadian audiences. So really the Kobo, again, it's this non-exotified image of the Caribbean, and it's really, again, sort of an A very in, real an Caribbean inside, image. Yeah, a very real well. Caribbean image, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, if you're in a Kobo's eyesight, you know, you kind of have a bit of a problem. Right, so right. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of plays on that, you're in focus <laughs> idea a bit more. Yeah. Tell me about some of the films that you have, I mean, you have had to sit and watch them, but I, yes, I can't imagine that it's, it's all that <laughs> arduous job. Uh, what, no, what, it's what not. What was memorable? I want you to play a bit of a hmm. film critic. What was memorable in there now? Yikes. Well, actually, Emily would be able to tell you more about that. Yes. Because I, the, the way the process worked, there was a selection committee, and those individuals looked at all of the films. And then, to, and then once the films were selected, then Jonathan, Ali, and I viewed the selected film sort of between us and wrote the synopsis. And you wrote synopsis yes. for, for those. Right, so they were already selected films. Yeah. So being on the selection committee, I would say um, some, you want me to tell you? Yeah, tell, the, tell us the, about some of the memorable ones, um, and things that you think. A that combination of films, one of my favorite is um, The Wind and the Water. It's a Panamanian film about a native um, group of people. It's a fiction film, just really beautiful, really well shot, very emotional, slow, um, but also shows the connection between sort of the larger Caribbean basin, you know, the, the Panama, that there's sort of cultural um, similarities from there to here, as well as, of course, a few of the local films, um, Yao Ramasar's Sister God 2, really beautiful imagery, um, very, very Caribbean-esque, as well as uh, Marielle Brown's Solitary Alchemist, which is a lovely documentary about um, Barbie Hardeen, who, Jardine. Jardine. I always yeah. use Spanish on that. Who, who makes um, jewelry, yeah. and that's his story. Yeah. 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 And then two other films that, that I just absolutely love. One is Silent Light by um, Carlos Regadas. He will be a visiting filmmaker. He'll be here next weekend. Um, 
just a lovely film about Mennonites in Mexico and a sort of a, a love story and um, crisis of the heart, really. And then the last one is Hunger, which is made by a, a UK visual artist, Steve McQueen, whose parents are um, from Point Fortin and Grenada. And um, that is about the Irish hunger strikers in the 1970s. Again, really beautifully shot um, 